50 masters, yeah. and then I no, shaved we're gonna my point. nipples for this, so let's hurry yeah. before it grows back. What up? Like, we need to get that's, moving that's now. Great. Actually, that's what I was going to say, um, whatever you call it, um, Make the most of this, because no, it's about as close as you're going to get to a menage at the There are your screws to get you started. If you think yeah. an opponent yeah. doesn't okay, know the answer, hit the screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Flavored Eye Drops. Why let your mouth have all the fun? Flavored Eye Drops. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Get ready, time for question. Let's begin with Eat, Pray, Die. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? You know, none of these people do. I know one of them, so that's what I'm not Player three? <laughs> no. Player one. Uh, maybe, I think you maybe know it's coming. Know. Player two? Vivian Ward is the name of the prostitute Julia Roberts plays in Pretty Woman. And almost all of serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes. So he'd probably have just loved to murder her. I can see it now. He'd open the box with his knife in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping her fingers. She'd laugh, he'd laugh, and he'd kill her. Don't deserve to be on camera. <laughs> Here's a good one. If I only had a brain trust. If I only had brain trust. Suppose the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz yeah. faced off against the Wicked Witch of the Why? West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the Wicked Witch before she finishes her points? What a pity. Are you thinking of this one? A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Here's how I would debate the Wicked Witch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two candidates you see here tonight is a Wicked Witch. Thank you, I yield the rest of my time. Next up, getting naughty. And this dis or dat likes All being right. tied up. No. Player three, your score's looking a little thin. You take this one and try and fatten it up. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot or the name of a sex position recommended by Women's Health Magazine. If it's a necktie knot, press the X button. If it's a sex position, press the B button. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Pick your answers before player three does, because if player three gets it wrong, everyone who gets it right will split that cash. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Score likes to be on bottom. You already said my usual sex position is also the way I usually tie a tie, alone in front of a mirror. Take a stab at shop till everyone drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Foot locker, radio, layer two, who gets the screw? You can't just leave your screw hanging out in the breeze like that. Can we continue now? Why didn't you pick this? In the grim fairy tale, the elves and the 
cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. <laughs> I think your vision's blurred. Clear your eyes tastefully with these flavored eye drops. All those in flavor? Say I. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. Enjoy. Let's try Okia Dokia. If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or Ikea, Nokia, and Kia headquarters are exactly the same distance apart. Player two, good effort, good effort. Players one and three, no Kia, no Kia. One right answer coming up. No Kia is based in Finland and Ikea is based right next door in Sweden. Kia is based in South Korea. Whether it's phones, furniture, or cars, if it's got Kia in the name, you know it's going to be cheap. I mean inexpensive, inexpensive. I'm right Round behind one is complete, and player three is in the lead. You're Don't go eye spending eye that money just yet. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And let's see some screwing out there. We don't want them getting <laughs> rusty. Up. Buck her up for muscle milk was a bad choice. Say the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against the rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Before Brian and Champ, but after Brick? Or after Brick, Brian, and Champ? Player two? That was quality. Player three? Congratulations, not. Player one. In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. And they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time it actually took place, you wouldn't be that interested in seeing it anymore. May I introduce... Guess who... What is it? Try this on for size. Orca's 11. Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? Player two? Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Players one and three? What? No. It was begging to be picked. There are three sea worlds. Well, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Maybe I'll just pay that kid from Free Willy to do it. Something tells me he could use the cash. About a whale. Yeah. And now, kangaroo, peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. After this video. Kangaroo, peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Oh, you have to answer the question right. The name of Jeff Dunham's purple skin puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, no, or I love Uranus. Jeff I know this. I want Jeff Dunham. I know this. I'm not telling you. I'm, no, I'm, I'm just going to get it right. I know this one. I watched Jeff Dunham. I watched Jeff Dunham. Player two I clocks a ticket. I, player I know it because I've um, seen Jeff Dunham. Really? Love it. Player two? That answer has a hole in it. I have that. to admit, people who talk through I don't know any of it, but I do that one. creep me out. Get you talk through me. Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Wow. Now you're creeping me out, man. <laughs> Here we have the midnight run to the bathroom. 
According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or I have to do a number two in a one. <laughs> Player two tens running at player one. Nobody picks that one. Jack attack. Well, that's the attack. When you ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. This plus this I don't know the rules. equals you that. Rules. What little thing do these combine to make? Good luck. Don't press that one. Red plus white. I don't freaking know. Cannibalism. Al Pastor, chorizo, ceviche, or lomo adobada. Join if you know how to do renegade. Players one, two, and three. Juries no. Pay attention. Ceviche is fish. Great idea. Join if you know how to do renegade. Join if you know how to do. Why not try Mark TV? And it's a this or that. Player two, you're on the bottom, so I'm going to make you play this this or that. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart department, press the X button. If it's on MTV, press the B button. If it's both, press A. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Make your selections before player two, because if player two gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the winnings. Okay, let's move. We're rolling back your score. Walmart does 
doesn't have a jackass department, though. Officially. This one's known as... Just want to check in. Hey, how do you feel? With the pharynx, with the thoracic cavity, with the... Alright, player two, let me know. I have a player three, you're screwed. You got five seconds to answer. Time. Well played, screw player two. Grab a few more bucks, why don't you? Hey, I just killed a guy. I just player killed two, guy. can't do anything right, can you? <laughs> player one. <laughs> Smart people choose this. Located just above the brain stem, the thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. That's fine, don't ask me how I'm feeling. I asked you how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's it's also with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. Here's one for you. For whom the dinner bell tolls. Ooh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first, as prescribed by my doctor. Whatever you want. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm, if that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? Player one. Players two and three. In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. This was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. It's time for... I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to explore with bromine? Someone flirting with beryllium? Or someone fantasizing about bismuth? Any last words? Not too late. Player three? Ow. Oh, honestly. The chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. But as a society, we shouldn't put labels on things like this, except chemicals. You should label chemicals so you don't blow yourself up. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. Round one is in the books, and player four is at the head of the pack. This could get interesting. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And don't forget, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Okay then, here we go. I'll save you, Shy. <laughs> Say hello to Spit Up or Shut Up. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Lady No, Lady Dada, Lady Cats, or Lady Mama? Player one. What were you thinking there? Players two and three? According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far the most popular first word spoken by babies, beating out Mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. Maybe Dada is a good name, right? Please just guess because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. Coming up next. Childhood I mean, murmuries. It looks like we have a sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Yeah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since 
birth. I know we're on Earth. Anywho, I need your help remembering something. Yes. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that scurry up here to do? It's foggy fast. Yeah, it's real old. Uh, Joe Baker's a talkie. He actually likes talkies a lot. So, so what is it you're trying to remember, story? old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, I'm not sure the history time. books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. Oh my gosh, shut up. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn. And seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Whippy, uh, conquers, queenie, queenie, marbles, or five stones. Player one. Honest mistake. Players two and three. You thinking of conquers, old man? Hey, conquers, yeah! And it's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seeds yeah. called a conquer, and they take turns whacking at them. Three rats per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> Why am I the one doing that? It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, minus the liver spots. Didn't start growing oh, yeah, bones until my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And when did you that start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. Where was you liver and vanity? I'll kill you, kill you with this thumb. Is that Elvis? Oh my god, this one. All rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If Trees brought a class action lawsuit against Lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, Pop, or the Lorax? Player two? Oh, the humanity! Players one and three? Confounded right answer. The Lorax speaks for the trees. Not and in lawsuit, down. the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. It makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. Even they're saying There's a question in my pants, and you're all invited. Okay, as usual, if you get this correct, there's a little extra in it for you. Speaking of extra, put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek revealing to most butt cheek revealing. Thong, bikini, bikini, tonga, thong, tonga, thong, bikini, bikini, tonga, or tonga, bikini, thong. Player one. Player two. This is gonna hurt. Players one and three. Um, excuse me. Here's what a right answer um, looks a song like. Is, Bikini um, style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than Tonga is. style, and Tonga style cover Bikini more than thong, lead, which butt lead to butt really? cheeks pretty much all oh, out there. But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. Coming up, feeling this is the fine. Story of when I killed my child. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort. But I'm never. What do you call? What do you call? What What did the man who? <laughs> what did the child say? What did the man say when he ate a child? Stop! What did the man say when he ate a child? The snack that smiles back. <laughs> <laughs> Why the heck is this in your house? I don't know. Sir, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Oh, yeah. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? Aren't they all the same? Oh my god, I don't know. Three? Whoa. Whoa. Players one and two? Uh, nah. This would have worked 
Yep. Rafe Fine's first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. No. And his brother Joseph Fines is pronounced Joseph, but it's spelled L-E-S-S-F-A-M-O-U-S. It's a weird British thing. No, don't give it. Oh, I already know how to do it. Of course, who I wants to hear that. my yapping? Oh, I'm still doing it. Sorry. Here you go. I am uh, yeah, you like a legal guardian. We already did. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of me. I love you like a legal guardian. Oh my god. Little... Dry skin and wrinkles. Chicken egg is a really, really good. Really good. Really good. Say hello I to healthy, God. radiant, beautiful. Yeah, she already got hers. Oh, My final words are. I said, die. Live hard. <laughs> <laughs>